see. Where would they put one of these disruptors? A desert fox? Why would there be desert foxes here? Oh, whoa! Stop biting my clothes! Hey! The sun is especially intense today. I hope Tainari will be all right. <sighs> Probably not. I should go check on him. This seems more annoying than the last round. That's fine, though. I'll find some place to sit and watch them scurry.
The Lone Peter said that he should be around here somewhere. Tainari! Can you hear us? You're right! Huh? Oh no! It looks like he's fainted! We have to help him! Tainari, are you okay? Right. I usually bring lots of water when I go to the desert, precisely to avoid this situation. I went through all my water very quickly, and with the effects of the disturbed ley lines, I started feeling dizzy. My ancestors, the Volukashuna, were originally from the desert. But I guess this is what happens when a species migrates. They become intolerant of their original environment. <sighs> this isn't the time for a history lesson. Let's get you some water. Humans. Such fragile beings. Your bodies can't even survive extreme changes in the environment. Here, take this. Let him drink it. Are you serious? This had better be just normal water. Hey! You're leaving already? Paimon <sighs> really doesn't get that guy. What's he up to? Ugh. Anyway, let's focus on helping Tainari drink some water first. I'm feeling a little better now. <laughs> ah, thanks, you two. Oh, it wasn't just the two of us. Just now... Found you at last. I was concerned, so I came back to check on you. Will you be able to go on? The fur on my tail is so dry, it's practically been singed right off. I don't see any purpose in pushing myself beyond what is reasonable. It appears I'm not suited to this particular round. I should probably just return to Aru Village and rest. Yes, I do have my results in the first round to serve as a buffer, so even if I forfeit this round, I still have a chance to turn things around later. Withdrawing now will allow me to conserve my energy. Continuing to push onward would be counterproductive. A wise decision. Let's get you back to Aru Village. <sighs> Uh, it's fine. I can make it back on my own. Oh, stop trying to be so polite. Come on, we'll help you back to Aru Village. Take this!
You two must have a lot of free time if you came looking for me. See where would A desert fox? Why would there be desert foxes here? Oh, whoa! Stop biting my clothes! Hey! Lightning flash! Tainari, do you want to rest some more? There's some shade here, so we can stop for a while. Uh, all right, let's do that. Oh, 
Sino and Tainari. Uh, and you've got the Traveler and Paimon with you. Oh, hey, Layla! Yeah, the sun was too strong, so I decided to take cover here for a while. What about you? Uh, are you all done already? Unfortunately not. I'm not quite as capable as I thought. I intend to withdraw from this round. Sino and the Traveler are escorting me back to Aru Village. W withdraw Can you even do that? I believe the rules do provide for such a situation. Alhatham did say that the act of leaving the competition grounds would result in disqualification from the round. Didn't I ask you if you were all right before this? If you had just decided to withdraw then, you wouldn't have had to suffer. Well, I had to try, didn't I? So I tried, and it didn't work out, and now I'm backing out while I can. When I get back, I'm definitely going to make a batch of sun-resistant oil. Next time I venture into the desert, I'll be prepared. By the way, you're Layla, aren't you? You don't look very well yourself. Will you be all right? Uh, I did feel a little faint when I first entered the desert. But I feel a lot better after resting here for a while. Be careful not to push yourself too hard. Uh, don't worry. I'm just... Feeling the pressure? Uh-huh. Uh, you can tell? Your expression is similar to the ones I see on criminals' faces when I interrogate them. To tell you the truth, I'm still not sure whether I have what it takes to represent the Ratawa his Darshan in the championship. Most people voted for me because of all the rumors surrounding me, and to be honest, those rumors don't really mean anything. Now I don't know how to deal with all the expectations they've put on me. Even the people who usually criticize me voted for me this time. Uh, so I feel like I have to live up to their expectations somehow. So their expectations are putting pressure on you. Uh, yes. Uh, actually, I heard that you were voted in as well, Tainari. Uh, how do you deal with it? To be completely honest, I don't really feel any pressure. Firstly, those who expect things from you do not necessarily do so for benign reasons. On the other hand, those who do consider your feelings certainly wouldn't want you to push yourself. Next, we are researchers. Our primary duty is to interact with knowledge, not to meet others' expectations. As for me, I took part in this competition to advertise for an academic lecture at Gandarvaville next month. I'll obviously try my best during the competition, but I won't let any additional pressure get to me. I think you can also try to find a clearly defined goal. That may help you. Huh. I understand. Uh, thanks for your advice. Uh, I'm absolutely parched after talking so much. I've still got some water with me. No, I'll be all right. We aren't far from Aru Village, so I can go the rest of the way myself. You should get back to the competition. Don't you want to win that limited edition card? Yes. All right, then. Your spirit will live on through me. Hey, don't talk like that. I'm not dead, Sino. 
<sighs> Everyone, I'll be heading back now. See you after the round ends. I'll continue searching for the ley line disruptors. Are you feeling better now, Layla? Yeah, I feel like some of the weight has been taken off my shoulders after chatting with Tainari. It's been a long time since I first left my hometown to come to the Academia, and every day here has been so precious. But of course, there have been some rough times. All sorts of complex astrological models, countless quizzes, and essays that took all my brain power to barely finish. Each of those things are like huge boulders barreling at me, forcing me to continue running forward. When I was chosen as my Darshan's representative, it felt like another boulder was added to the ones already rolling behind me. Every time I close my eyes, I think of all the people I disappoint if I mess up. Yeah, I think that's what Tainari was trying to tell me. You're our good friends, which is why you didn't stop him from dropping out of this round, and why you don't feel disappointed in me. That's right! No need to feel so down! Uh, that said, he did also say that he hopes I could have more concrete goals for taking part in this competition. Uh, I don't have any now, but I'll give that some thought. Anyway, I won't take up any more of your time. You still have to record the other contestants' progress, don't you? Perhaps they've had some breakthroughs while we've been chatting. True. We should go look for the others. Hmm. Now, who's left? Tainari's dropped out for the round, and... We just saw a sino. Uh, you could go see how Madame Farozan's doing. I've heard that she's quite knowledgeable about the desert, so she's probably made some progress by now. Okay, let's go look for Farozan! Don't worry, I'll be fine. Here you are. You, Clay, you're up.
flicker. Fury. Yeah. <sighs> 